what is going on everybody welcome back to the garage and today well i guess we're actually in the office as you can see i am in my setup where i normally shoot the live stream but there's a reason behind that uh thanks to our sponsors over at nitrous express let's pop up a little bubble in the corner there uh we are have the opportunity to, to mess around with the maximizer 5 progressive controller and this thing is just above and beyond about any progressive controller you're going to find out there for nitrous control and the whole idea behind what we're attempting to do in this situation is we are using this thing to enable boost or enable nitrous delivery early on from the launch and then we're going to ramp out based on boost pressure so if we're below say 10 psi we're going to have some additional nitrous helping us down the track and then as we get into the 10 psi plus area well we're just going to let the supercharger take over that all being said i don't have you know the motor in the engine or the motor in the engine i don't have the engine in the engine bay uh and, and so all the wiring and stuff i've been working on that but i wanted to dive into the software side of it first take a look at uh how the setup works on it and i thought i would share that stuff with you so let's go ahead i've got the screen pulled up over here uh this is whenever you connect up this is all you're going to see you hit find the controller and then you can't tell but in the lower here let me make myself disappear in the lower side there is an online option showing that we have data acquisition arms and we're online that is the first step now we've got three different tune options that we can switch between we have some ways of toggling that we're just going to focus on tune one for for today and we will go in and look at things like our input configuration this is going to be the base configuration stuff that you're going to want to set up in particular, you have to have a TPS on here. So whether or not this is a wide open throttle switch or this is a TPS switch, we'll be using the TPS adapter unit for the fifth gen that basically you wire it into your pedal output and then it can determine whenever your pedal is at 100%. Uh, so we may have to come back and make some tweaks back to this thing based on how that outputs a voltage to the controller, but you always are going to have to have a TPS signal for the Maximizer 5. Keep that in mind. Now, some of the other stuff we can look at is the setup. We have multiple different options that we can do. Now, output three and four are external outputs. They can also be used as drivers for uh, water methanol systems, a third stage of nitrous. You need to be aware, though, that those drivers are not within the unit. You needed an external driver that you would hook up to the Maximizer 5, but output one and two are internal drivers to the unit itself. They will directly drive solenoids. And we've got a couple different options. We can do two outputs at 60, one output at 120 and then AFR control which is basically using the two outputs but you're individually controlling the solenoids for the nitrous and the fuel delivery. If you were to come over to Lambda and hook up a uh, AFR gauge, you know, standard 1 to 5 volts, 0 to 5 volts out from your AFR or Lambda gauge, you could uh, put a target that you want this thing to try and hit and then you can also disable it if you run too rich or too lean. Well in order to do that we would have to put it in AFR control and then you wire one relay or one solenoid control to your fuel and one to your nitrous that way it can pulse those at different rates. We're not going to be doing that in this situation especially because we're not going to be shooting a big shot of nitrous on this. RPM is an optional one on there you can do some setups off of things like RPM uh, based in uh, progressive ramps and then our big one that we're going to be looking at is map sensor base. So we're going to go ahead and enable this and they have the one, two and three bar GM sensors in here and they even have the part number. So you can reference back to the actual map sensor that you have in your vehicle. If for some reason you don't have one of those, you can do a user defined setup and then put in what the pressure is at five volts and four and a half volts. We're going to go ahead and go with our three bar sensor because that's what we have now. We don't care about nitrous being disabled below anything, so we'll set that down to zero. And then we want to set this up at 10. We'll get into this more whenever we go into the actual tuning of uh, tune one. But for now, we want to make sure that this shuts out by 10. And then this is just your dead band. It's going to say that it has to be out of the range for at least a tenth of a second before it shuts off off of these two triggers up top. Uh, speed, once again, you can set it up uh, to disable at certain speeds, come on at certain speeds, etc. Pretty straightforward. You can, and this is uh, has multiple options as far as two wire and 
uh, Hall effect sensors. So whatever is appropriate for your vehicle if you wanted to disable it at a certain speed. And then it also has nitrous pressure control and you would need one of the pressure sensors. Uh, the nitrous ex uh, express sensor is a 0 to 1600 by default as you can see at 0.5 it's 0, 4.5 and then you can set your pressures and this will trigger an output that needs to be ran over to a relay in order to turn your bottle heater on and off. So instead of having to use that pressure switch that would, comes with most of the bottle heater kits, you can just bring your nitrous pressure sensor right back to the Maximizer 5 and use it to control that. Then on top of it we have custom inputs you can bring in analogs that you can set up for different things but let's go over and look at our tune and if I can find out oh we also have you know heater control desired pressure that's for turning it on and off and then Willy control if you have an attitude sensor uh, or an angle sensor that you can bring in here you can actually dial back nitrous as you start to pop wheelies Mm -mm -mm. Output 1 is going to be the one that we're dealing with. And this is the big thing that we're looking at right here. Input 2 and the attitude that it has towards nitrous. Well, as if you followed any of my builds up to this point in time, I'm using a single button to control my nitrous, my two-step, and my line lock. Well, that is going to be a 12-volt output to all of those different things. Whenever 12-volt goes to our two-step, it knows that the two-step is activated. 12-volt goes to our line lock the uh, line lock is activated. Now this is where it changes when 12 volt goes to the Maximizer 5 we're actually disabling nitrous because we don't want to be spraying nitrous until we let off that button. Now we're still arming this system like you would any other nitrous systems with a toggle switch to uh, turn the unit on. Now once the unit's on it is going to be armed unless that button is pushed in. We can set up our output frequency for our uh, solenoids. We're going to leave that where it's at right now. And then this is where we can set our ramp time. And we're going to be pressure based. And this is where it gets really interesting. So we can come in here, start our pressure at zero, and then ramp it out at 10. And this is actually going to be backwards. So we're going to pull this down and bring this up. This is our duty cycles down here. And we can smooth these points. There we go reset to straight line. So now we have a ramp rate between 0 PSI and 10 PSI in which this will slowly ramp out our uh, duty cycle. And we're starting as you can see at 61%. If we have a 50 jet in there we'll go ahead and start that thing at 100% set that to a straight line and we could even come in here and say eh, we want to be at 25% whenever we shut it off. There you go. Now we have a nice uh, ramp out based on boost pressure. As we make pressure, we can come on with a 50 or 100 shot and then ramp it down to the, about the point of shutting off. 25% is going to be pretty close on your solenoid anyways. Now we also have the option to send a retard output signal. So say 50 shot, not really a big ordeal on this thing, but say we want to go in and try 100 or 150 shot, we can actually come in here and enable the high side driver for the retard output, take it over to the Langenfelter two-step box which has a static timing retardability. Whenever it sees an input on that thing we could set it up and there's a little dial on there where you could turn it to four degrees and whenever it sees that signal from the Maximizer 5 it's going to go ahead and pull four degrees out of our base table. We don't have to do anything in the tune in that situation. So that's kind of the big thing. I'm anxious to get this thing set up uh, where we can go in there. We've got some cool stuff that we can do when we're plugged in looking at whether or not we're armed, we're active, uh, you know, if we're sending out retard signals, and then we can also do some data logging on this stuff. Uh, it's pretty neat, pretty cool, pretty powerful unit. I'm looking forward to getting able to dive into this thing more, uh, get it really set up once the vehicle's up and running. We can go out and do some test hits, things like that. But as I said, I want to just take a brief moment to uh, bring you in, let you know what was going on as far as the nitrous was going, give you an overview of this Maximizer 5 unit before I install it in the truck. Uh, because it might be a couple more weeks before we could get there and I wanted to double check a couple settings for whenever I go in and actually wire it into the truck myself that way I'm not having to redo things so this is kind of like mock-up we're doing the software side of mock-up just like you would if you're putting a new suspension on something like that so keep that in mind uh, once again big shout out to Nitrous Express as always check out the links down below uh, to this and other great Nitrous Express and Snow Performance products they've been a great sponsor to us on the channel so show them a little bit of love and thanks to everybody who subscribed recently and all the new patrons out there your help is greatly appreciated now I've got to get back down into the garage I've got more work to 
to get done, but you know the drill, ABT, always be tuning.